are you from? Uh, San Diego. San Diego, you gotta love it. Where are you from? I'm from Nebraska. Husky fan? Uh, no, Huskers? I mean, no, uh, actually, I, I went to Oklahoma University. Oh, I'm did? a Sooners fan. Are you? So now I'm a Sooners fan, um, too. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, so am I. I'm a big Sooners fan. Yeah. That's not a good role. I'm sorry. Thank you. Hey. We got a ball out. Sorry. Yeah, we see. used to like you. Yeah. Hope you never put your hands in your pocket. You know why, right? Yeah. Yeah, that you could have put, I could put a chip in it. To your bet, more than one. You absolutely can't put your hands in your pants. That will get you fired in a heartbeat. No more bets? There's a lot of rules in this city. Okay, so now what do you have? You have 32? No. If there was a bigger game with more chips on the table, Paul would have needed a calculator. Sorry, That's no. okay. I'm training. That's good. That's all That's right. Fine. I didn't think of what I was doing, but I was breaking every rule. And every time I would break those rules, Don was there to say, you're doing fine. Believe me, when I started, I swear to you, I was <laughs> much worse. I promised myself that when I survived Vietnam, that I wouldn't sweat anything else again in my life. From what I saw over there, I said, I said, I'm not gonna sweat nothing else in life, and I have Changed your life? Changed my life completely. In his early age, he, he was in Vietnam, and he didn't realize he was gonna have all these problems. I got uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome. I have nightmares and flashbacks. Vietnam never leaves you. Wow. And here's this, this man, 62 years old, and this happened when he was 18. So well, how long have you worked here? Since it opened in 93. You gotta be kidding me. No. I like the business, I really do. Yeah. I mean, with the exception of the smoke. The customers? The smoking uh, kind of fills your lungs a little bit. You know, they have these fans on the games, but if somebody's sitting over here on this side and smoking, it still hits you. And my cardiologist yells at me about all the smoke I get in my face, but you just adjust to it. You know, smoking goes with gambling, unfortunately, and that's it. so does the drinking. If you get like five cigar players or something on the table, that can be a little tough. But today it really hit home about some of the things they have to experience while they're doing their job. Thank you for your service. And I thank you for thanking me. Don, you're a great employee and that's why we're successful. It was a pleasure not only working with you, but getting to know you. Working with you, you discussed the smoke in the casino and it is a concern, so beginning immediately, we're gonna put two or three fans on every table until we figure out the best way to do this. The dealers will be very happy with me. This is huge. You talked about football. You talked about being an Oklahoma diehard fan. You know what, I know the coach. Bob Stoops is a good friend of mine, and he wanted to give you something, so he sent this, his helmet. Oh, thank you so much. But there's more than this, that. This he, is huge. I wanna fly your two brothers in town. I want you to pick a game. Bob wants you to sit in his box and just hang out with your brothers and just enjoy football that day. Really? And it's all on the MGM. That'd be, that'd be thank you, thank you so much. My brothers are gonna be thrilled. Yeah, you told me about Vietnam and it was touching. What I'd like to do in your honor is, is make a donation to the Comprehensive Services of Vets under your name. I'd like to give $5,000. Um, because I know that means a lot to you. And that would be great. It's the least we could do. I'm ready to lose it. I really am. Wow. Thank you, Mr. You're Sabella. Welcome. Mr. Sabella is going to give $5,000 to the Vietnam Veterans Fund and all that. How sweet is that? I mean, they're going to think I'm a hero. It feels great to not be forgotten because I thought for a long time we were.